Microwave radio systems carry 70% of the billions of long-distance telephone calls made in the U.S. annually. Each year, the number of long-distance calls increases. To meet this growing demand, the Bell system has developed the first high-capacity single sideband microwave radio system. This new system will be able to carry 6,000 long-distance calls per channel, more than three times as many calls as the highest-capacity microwave link now used by the Bell system. Here's how the single sideband system works. Radio signals, like those received over your home radio, have three parts. A carrier signal and two sidebands. This representation of a radio signal shows that the sidebands carry the information, in this case, my voice, and both sidebands carry the same information. Single sideband equipment eliminates one sideband and the carrier from the signal so that another sideband with different information can be used at the same time on the same radio channel. With the single sideband microwave radio system, each sideband can carry 3,000 voices. Although single sideband has been used in amateur radio, aviation, and marine communication for many years, until recently, the technique was not adequate for long-distance high-capacity telephone calls. In microwave radio transmission, the received signals at a radio station are very low in level, and these must be boosted in level uh, before retransmitting to the next radio station. Uh, microwave amplifiers are used to boost these signals in level, and in the past, these microwave amplifiers have not had low enough distortion to permit single sideband uh, transmission. Improved electronics technology from Bell Labs has reduced distortion in the new system to a level only one thousandth the distortion found in previous microwave radio systems. Preliminary tests of single sideband microwave radio were made in Georgia during 1974 and 1975. Working with AT&T long lines, Bell Labs began a field trial in Massachusetts in 1977. Commercial service is planned for 1980.